What if you have a champion which you've always really sucked at and you want to become better with that specific champion? Well, today I'm going to give you guys an example of how I learned to play my own champions and how I got good at them. I will be taking Camille as the example for this video because Camille is the last champion which I've mastered. The first thing which I always recommend to people if they are really new to a champion and they really don't know anything about the champion, you can actually google up the champion, you can find loads of guides nowadays because people are always making guides every day and people are always bringing out new tips for you. So let's say that I absolutely don't know anything about Camille, I will always go to mobafire.com and check out the Camille guides which people have created. Now it doesn't really matter if the guide is made by a platinum player or a diamond player, you just want to suck a little bit of information so you know what this champion is about. Here I am on a platinum Camille guide and it tells us Camille excels at split pushing as well. It is probably one of my favorite split pushing style champions to play. She is also in a unique spot where she is a competitive split pusher and also really strong in team fights as long as you can ult onto their mid laner or ADC and nuke them down with precision protocol. So I kind of have to agree with all the things he said in this little story. Camille is definitely a really good split pusher and she is really good at team fighting. So now that we've seen all the runes and all of the items that he's using as well as the little story that he gave us, we now have like a general idea of what this champion is about. Now of course we're not going to copy his rune page and items and just expect it to work because after all this guy is not one of the highest elo players. We're just really thankful for him for making this guide. It's really awesome that people are really spending their time helping people out. But now that we got that out of the way, let's just go into a custom game and see what this champion can really do. When Camille got released, I didn't go into a ranked game right after the first game. What I actually done was that I went into a custom game and I tried to practice her with her little combos. At the time, nobody really knew anything about Camille. Nobody had discovered any mechanics. So I had to discover everything myself. The first thing that I've discovered is that Camille could use her W while being in the air. So you could actually hit your W while flying up to someone. So I spent hours and hours and hours trying to learn how to use my W while flying in the air and eventually even use my flash while doing my E and everything just seems to have worked out and I figured out my very own combos. So after spending hours and hours and hours learning this champion, I eventually got ready to play my first normal game. Yes, that's right. If I never played a champion in my life before and only played him in a custom game to learn the champion, I always go into a normal game first so I can learn the champion before going into a ranked game. So I've had that really good normal game. Everything has gone all right. I think I was ready for a ranked, so I've actually went up straight onto my challenger account and I played my first Camille game. So at the start of season 7, I didn't really play 5 versus 5 that much at all. I was actually playing a lot of Twisted Tree Line, grinding my way to rank 1 in Challenger on EU West. Camille was really broken at that time, so if you fully mastered that champion and you used her, you would be able to grind a lot of points. At the time, Camille was only being released for a couple of months, so I've already had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games with her. That's how much I really enjoyed playing this champion. At some point, I've quit Twisted Tree Line, I've started grinding out Solo Queue Challenger only because I got Challenger in Solo Queue, and that's also the point where I kept on using her over and over again and she gave me a lot of elo. But anyway guys this is how I used to learn my own champion you just basically do some a little bit of research and eventually go into a custom game. You learn the champion's mechanics and eventually go into rank game and you spam her over and over and over again. I hope this gives you guys a general idea of how you should be learning a new champion. I hope this really is going to help you out guys. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you have some questions, you can ask them right away in the comments below. So guys, thank you a lot for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video, man. Peace.